<clears throat> Welcome to another uh, JC Super Rocker tutorial here on how to make realistic puzzle flashes. So, first thing you need, or first thing you should have in order to make realistic is Adobe After Effects, um, CS3, CS4, CS5, doesn't really matter, but they're all pretty good. Okay, so first, you have your footage here. Here's what you're going to use. Here's my clip. I already dragged it on there. So the, it's just a simple drag. Go here, here. I already did that. And I already added one muzzle flash here, but we're going to tweak it up. And there's more we need to add to this gun and, you know, fire and all that stuff. So, the first do is uh, here on your timeline, you're going to put here. Let's restart. Here's my muzzle flash. And drag it on there. Drag here to where it needs to start. And see how it's all black and I know it says wonder share. Don't worry, we'll get that out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, blending mode, screen. Now you could go add, but uh, uh I like to use screen. So it doesn't look too bright, because you know it is fire. And here's a mask. What I did was mask, new mask, and shrink it down so you don't see the wonder share. So what we're going to do, we're going to size it down. I know it doesn't look too good right now, but we're going to fix it. <coughs> Tweak it there. That looks like a pretty good size. Maybe a little smaller. doesn't look... There you go. That looks pretty good. Right there. So that's now what we're going to do to add a little bit more brightness we're gonna go glow go here effects glow and that looks really bad okay we're gonna do turn on the glow intensity a bit right there we're gonna go to glow radius and expand it out more just get that nice fire feeling no. okay so sorry <laughs> um, that looks, you know, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit brighter. And, um, just a wee bit. That looks better, you know. Instead of just going straight to add, this looks pretty good, you know. Actual fire. And, um, we're gonna add a bit of radio blur, because radio blur is really helpful for making it look pretty realistic. And you want to do right here towards the tip of the muzzle flash, so this part is everywhere, because that's how muzzle flash is supposed to like right there. That looks pretty good. No, you know what? Since it's a shotgun, so I know these are Nerf guns, but bear with me here. You know what? Um, just more do it more towards the middle. In this case, that looks pretty good. I know. Th I know. There's no lighting where you can do that in a sec. And um, since it's pretty big flash, what we're going to do is duplicate our footage. We're going to click here on the timeline. We're going to go Command D, Control D if you're on a, you know, Windows. And uh, here's our duplicated footage. And we're going to right click, blending mode, add. Now see how everything's all bright here? Okay. Well, we need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our pen tool right up here and we're going to mask out all the parts that would light up during the muzzle flash now in this case it's not going to light up much but it's going to light up a bit because we're outdoors so and it's pretty bright outside so it's not going to get much of a flash it's going to get a little bit so that's pretty good and uh, we're going to reduce the uh, the brightness because it's not no, that bright, and we're going to feather it out. Ah. So this one, we're going to go here. Mask. We're going to go feather. That's pretty good. Just light up just the background. So that's good right there. Feather. That, that looks pretty good. Um, Not too bright. Let's go opacity. Right there. You know, the, the most...
Okay, okay. Sorry about that. I have to do something really quick. Okay, so we're back. And uh, we have our flash. You know, fire looking like shotgun. We have our little... Uh, we have our brightness like in... Yeah, we do. So, um, I think I'll turn it up just a little bit. Just to match, you know, the settings. That looks pretty good. You know, the little the little effect is uh, noticed. You know, the more realistic it looks. Now we're gonna add the smoke coming out because it's a shotgun, so it has some pretty big smoke ejection. And for smoke, you want to go add because it looks a little bit more like you know fire smoke. Now let's click on that. Drag it on here. Um, let's. Drag around, look for a good smoke ejection. Nah, that one doesn't look good. Oh, you know what? That one looks good. Start it here. No. Yeah. Boom. Drag here. Pinpoint out. Mm -hmm. Now it's right here. You won't see it here, so I already added it. Here it is. We're gonna increase the size here. Now, on smoke, even though since it's going this way, it's gonna look like it's going out of the frame. And we want it to go smoothly out of the frame. We don't want this to stop smoke right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a mask. Okay. And you're gonna feather that mask really big. So now it'll go here smoothly and out of the camera. Then we'll just like stop and there will be no smoke right here. That looks bad. Um, yeah, so here it is, when you play it back, there it is, and that looks pretty good since you like shot it there, let's watch it, boom, that doesn't look too bad actually, it's pretty good, and is that all we need, yeah, that's pretty much it on a, on a shotgun muzzle flash, and um, it would actually light up him. You know what? Let's fix that. So here. Oh, yeah. I forgot to do another thing. We're going to add another mask around kids. Whoops. Okay. We're going to add another mask on the kids' face because it's pretty dark. You know? Oh, whoops. Ah, come on. We're going to add a mask around kid's head and probably right here since it you know would fire right here a little bit of his arm since it's a bit dark it would light it up I know this is not a perfect mask but when we feather it out it's gonna look better okay right there and I did everything wrong sorry fast forward right now I'm just gonna redo all this. I didn't do it on the right footage. Okay, here we go. Now, let's try it all again. It's not gonna light up his whole body because his other body is just masking the sun. Since where we are now, it's very sunny. It's in Hawaii right now, and so it's not gonna light up much as it would compared to the. That looks better. See how it look, looks like it's fire right there? That, look, that looks real, pretty real. Okay. Get out of our pen tool. Let's mask this here right there. Uh, it looks pretty good. Probably not so much this part of his arm, but no, let's not do this part of his arm because that looks too bright. You only get, see that looks better, only get his other arm. And I know that looks pretty bad, but we're going to. Masks work wonders in these videos. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. What we're gonna do? We're gonna feather the heck out of that thing. So here, this one. We're gonna feather it out. Since it's max two, we're gonna feather it out really bad. So it's nothing smooth. You can't really see the lines, but you know. You know, it doesn't light up the face too much, but at least it looks like it's lighting him up. Okay, good. That's your shotgun muzzle. Okay.
here we go. Okay, now let's work on. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna apply this to every single shot he does. So right there you would. Again. Oh, one more thing. Since this is not clipped out to that one frame, it's gonna appear the whole video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this down to one frame long. And so it only lights them up like there. Boom. Let's watch the actual footage. So boom. Now this, I know you can see if you watch in slow-mo, but the eye won't really get it much, so. Boom. That's good. So, kind of looks like he has a halo going on there. Boom. Boom. And when you add multiple, it's going to look better. Don't worry. But that's your shotgun muggle flash. Now we're gonna work on this dude over here, find this rapid um, machine gun here. You know, assault rifle. Oh, whoop, what did I do? Okay, we're gonna take your, now these I forgot to mention are all from Action Essentials 2. So you're gonna take your muzzle flat. Now these on um, rifles, I know they have like different ones for like the front view and the side view. We're going to go ahead and do both, and that's, we're going to get a 3D shot here. We're going to make this all, oh, gosh, darn it. we're going to make this 3D shot. Okay, you have your, again, I'm going to mask it out. Gonna rotate it here. And on this type of barrel, or no, it's not gonna show much of that little spout coming out. Well, we're gonna mask it out here so it looks like it's just coming straight out. That looks pretty. And let's make it a little bigger. When, when muzzle flashes happen, they're really big. They don't happen usually every shot, but they're pretty big when they when they happen, especially on you know rifles and stuff like that. Big blow right there, that's pretty good. Look at that guy. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Uh, mass doesn't look too well. What did I do there? What did I just do? No. My bad. Okay. This so, up uh, looks pretty good. We're gonna feather it so everything looks nice and neat. Boom. Oh, whoops. Now that thing's coming. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Now, before we tint it up to make it look like this, we're gonna add um We're gonna add a normal flare, a front view flare, muzzle flash, like this. We're gonna add that to our footage to emphasize the um, again screen. Now, what a muzzle flash does normally, like in like I've seen in certain videos, this part will come out this, but there will be a part that goes straight back, like a star shape. So it's a star shape and this. That's what I've seen. Okay. So we're gonna create we're gonna create that our power of Adobe After Effects. Now since it looks like it's coming straight out this way like towards you we're gonna create a 3D layer. See this box right here? You know, we're gonna click on that box. See how these um, three-dimensional arrows go? These mean where it's pointed like that side the side is pointing this way, the front is pointing towards me, the side is going up. You're going to take a rotation tool, and that's how you do 3D. And we're going to put it right there. That doesn't look too bad, actually. But since it looks like it's on in our 3D layer here, let's, since this 
Now we're trying to want to match this to the barrel, the way which way the barrel of the gun. I'm just gonna do it a little bit more. That's good. You don't want to make it too flat, then people notice. Oh, you know, it's not 3D. You just add it in. That's pretty good right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it. We're gonna put it on top of this layer. We're gonna drag this one. So this one, it's not on top. There we go. We don't want this to be on top. We want this to be on top. No, not too bad. Okay, now let's add the glow. Glow. Oh, whoa. okay. Same thing. Uh, let's turn the glow with the threshold. Mm, let's keep it around 60, like it was. Turn on the rate. Turn on the intensity just a bit. And you mess with the radius since it's gonna brighten up a little air around it. And then we can turn the back up. We want to try and make it look like, see this right here? And turn the glow radius a bit down. Now it doesn't look too bad. Now it looks like actual fire. And since it's, it's really bright, but it's not going to last the whole frame. So your eye is not going to pick up. You know that. Um, let's, let me turn it down just a little bit. Small details make it a lot better. Glow intensity the threshold. Now, what? Um, that one's because it's radio blur. Okay, so now make it look like. No, let's turn it. Okay, to make it look like this one, we're gonna add some radio blur again. Radio blur. This one is more going to happen, since we want it to blend in with this right over here, this flash over here, we're going to put it right at the end. So it looks like it, you know, not too much, just enough right there. And we're going to add radio blur to this one so it can blend in with the other one. It looks all one big shot. Maybe this can be just a little bit bigger. Now we're going to add the glow to that shot because that one's pretty bright as well. There you go. Oh. Intensity down. That's pretty good right there. You know what? Let's change this one. Cause I, oh. I want this one to look good. I want them to be similar. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Mm, let's set it to where it was. Glow radius a bit down. Now let's turn it up. Now it looks hmm. Nah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that one's 125. Okay. I just, sorry if I'm, I just wanted to make it pretty. Get it here. The radius is not so much. That's pretty good. I think it's just the flash itself. Now let's try to make this one. Now, since he's not gonna fire every single shot, he's only gonna fire half of what. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate our footage. Here. 
Oh, you don't want to move it around or else it's going to move out of everything. Same thing. You're going to mask it out. This is a pretty bright flare. I'm going to mask out. Uh, what? Pretty much what will the gun light up. Again, not a perfect flash. Turn this one to add. Boom. Okay. Fix this up. And we're going to feather it. Because feather it. Feathering, feathering things makes everything look pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like this lighted up pretty well compared to. Okay, let's make it one frame at least. Looks good. Light, lights that part up. It's noticeable, especially. Oh, jeez. Okay. One frame. Pretty good. Wow, intense muzzle flashes there. So you got some sparks right there from this star-shaped muzzle flash. Oh yeah, we forgot, we forgot to add radio flare. Radio flare. Makes everything look pretty. Oh, it looks pretty good by itself right there. You don't. Because in muscle flash, you don't see the exact fire, you just see this big blob of fire. So that's what it is. I'm trying to recreate that. That doesn't look too bad. Less realist. Ah, we're going to. Maybe that flash on his gun. I increase it. No, it doesn't look too bad. There you go. Perfect. Now, smoke. This is an automatic fire. So, what we're going to do, obviously, we're going to. Stop it when you stop shooting. Mm -hmm. Sec, got a message. All right. So we stop shooting right there, you know. We got to reload. But this guy's still going. He's going to come this way. Gonna come this way. So we got to add this to every shot because this one is not an automatic this is single fire because if we do it all, both automatic they're gonna get mixed up and they're gonna switch around it's not gonna look good it's gonna be like this 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 not good okay so here's our muzzle flash we're gonna duplicate it keyframe to our next shot there we go and just add it over fit it in right there and this is going to take a while, but you're going to have to duplicate your shot and mask out everything, each individual shot. Because if you just duplicate this, it'll take that keyframe right there from that shot in the composition and put it right there. And it's not going to look like it's part of it. Sorry, my brother's in the background. Okay. We are back. And looks pretty good. Here, let's add one more. Mm -hmm. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, once again, duplicate our footage. Okay. Again, watch closely. Duplicate our footage. Set it to add. Boom. Ha ha. Master of light. Here we go. Mask this out. Same as last time.
perfect. Now we adjust it. Also on this tutorial I will cover on how to do shell ejections and I know nerf guns don't eject shells but I want to add my own little twist to it. So here we go. After this, after all the muzzle flashes are complete and the um, the uh, smoke looks pretty good, then we can do that. Look, that looks pretty good. Same as you know the other ones. Boom. Did I do one on this one? I think I did. Oh, no wonder. Wait a minute, hold on. The same thing? Okay. Well, anyway, this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to duplicate this again. <coughs> this one goes here. It goes here. The other one out nice and good. This one goes there. Looks pretty good. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, now you can see the flash. Looks pretty good. Also, you can do this. You don't have to, but you want if you want to if you want to add like a quick uh, like a good taste, like a good feature that'll make it look a little bit more realistic. The bullet flying out, like out of the actual like the bullet being fired. Um, if you played uh, any of the Call of Duty games, I don't know if you have noticed, but when they shoot, they do show they do show the bullet coming out, especially in long distances, you know, um, the assault rifles, they, you will see the bullet, you will see the flash, and then you'll see, like, some yellow line, and you can see it in most movies, too, like, in Saving Private Ryan, you will see the bullet fly out, especially in automatic guns. I do that, just to add a little bit more, you know, emphasis to the, the bullet flying out, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, one of the videos that I made, that I did it with, Looks something like this. Now, see here, you can see the bullet flying out right there, and here's the flash. That flash I can make a little better, and I'm probably gonna fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too well right there. Okay, see right here. If you notice closely, here I made a bullet. Now I did this in uh, keep, keep frame by frame. But since the eye is not going to pick it up as much, unless you really stare at that, it's going to go here and it's shoot out. See? And in fast motion, it looks like the bullet's flying out. I'll show you. See how it looks like that? I look follow him perfectly with the flash. We can do that and then add a little bit more kick to the flash and the... This guy with the shotgun looks pretty good. Okay, to finish up, we're going to add some smoke to this one, each, each shot. And this one is, uh, let's line it up here. Click on it, let's find a good one. Probably not the same one that we used for the shotgun. That eh, looks pretty good right there. Key it in. Key out. It pops up directly. Right there. Add a mask. Of course, we want it to look as smooth as possible. And feather it out big time. There. So when it shoots out, 
There it is. See how there's a big pile of them. That looks pretty good, especially with the smoke coming out because in, <clears throat> a lot of guns will emit a lot of smoke. And with both, both at the same time looks pretty good. Whoa. Okay, now let's add it again. And let's do it every, let's do it the third shot so it doesn't look like the same flash. Same smoke just came out of the same barrel. Alright. Okay. This is what we do. Boom, boom. Oops. Sorry. This is how it looks both time. See how it looks. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Say, so that looks pretty good. You know? The smoke came out and everything comes out pretty well once it's all finished. Now, we're going to add the same thing, but now let's do coolest feature of all. The shell coming out. And I know Nerf guns, I know a lot of people say, oh, these are Nerf guns, they're not real guns, they don't emit shells. But anyway, my video, sorry. So, I'm doing this my way. And after the shell, we can do the bullet flying out to add a little bit more emphasis. Okay, so you're going to take your action sensor footage, 8 millimeter, since it's more appropriate for the rifle. See what it is? We're going to key it right there. That looks pretty good. And we're going to key it in to start at that position. Right there. Now for this one, you want to go screen because of lightning, then it's going to get a lot of reflection, and then you can see it, and it doesn't look too good. Okay. Since it's supposed to come out of the barrel, um, the opposite end is supposed to come out the other way. What we're going to do is, after he fires, then we'll start it right here. All right, right there. So it looks like it just came out. We're going to go here with this little arrow. We're going to transform. We're going to go position. We're going to go two frames. Then we're going to drag it up. Yeah, drag it up. Two frames. Drag it up some more. Except add a little bit more curve to it. Two frames. Another curving that way. You might realize, oh, you know what? If it, it's going to show up in between those frames, but it's not because we're going to add motion blur. See how it comes out nice there. Here's the motion blur right here. Those little circle with the um, little circles behind it. You want to click that box right there. And that's going to enable motion blur. But what you want to do, you want to enable motion blur in your all layers. There we go. See how it comes out. Oh, if you watch closely. Come on. See this little blur here? That's what you want to see because that's how shells come out especially with, that's how the uh, flash is supposed to come out now that's how it looks there you can see the flash coming out now this one is going to have the same thing as well and another detail when the bullet is coming out there's smoke in the part in the little hole where it comes out and uh, smoke is ejected so what we're going to do we're going to put smoke right here so it looks like it just fires out and uh, this actually looks pretty good right here so right here, boom, comes out. We're gonna do the same thing. Key it after the shot, right afterwards, right there. But since it's another different shell, we're gonna change the um, little path that goes down so it looks like it's a completely different shot. And here's another one, you can see it right there. And then here's another one going down on the same path. Now, there's the third. Shot, of course, key it afterwards and change the path ever so slightly. Right there. 
and there. So it looks like it's coming out nice and Doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good. And we're gonna add a soft um, smoke. Yeah, smoke. More smoke. Because smoke makes everything in the gun look better. Add. Key it in. Let's find a good smoke layer. Just doesn't have to be too big. Like right there, probably. That's pretty good. But we're gonna shorten it down to size. So it looks like smoke just came out where the shell is. All these little details make everything so much better. Makes it look like the Nerf gun is actually shooting a bullet. And I know some people tell me, oh, you don't have real guns in your videos, but it doesn't matter. I have to do it my way. Right there, but we might as well add a 3D layer. Because we want this to be 3D. When it up like that it looks like it's just coming whoops just coming straight out behind us right there you want to key it in when you know what in this case let's use screen as the um because you don't want the you don't want the smoke too noticeable or else it's gonna look too fake Honestly, the more the more noticeable it is, the more people know that it it was just added in. Okay, there you have it. So smoke coming out that way looks pretty good. Boom, boom. Doesn't look too bad. We're gonna do that for every single one. Here, key it in right when the bullet comes in. Adjust it, and again, we're almost done here guys, don't worry. Good. <clears throat> After this, we're going to make the muzzle f uh, the shell ejection for this shotgun over here, we're going to go behind this way. Okay, so let's watch it. See how it is. Realizes that he needs to reload. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm out of bullet. This is from. Looks pretty good, huh? Okay. So, final touches. I know well, what my brother was saying was reload, of course. But it didn't go all the way. Reload, you know, has to change the magazine. Not really a magazine in there, but that looks pretty good. Once it's fast motion, looks like a... And trust me, once you have the sound effect, it looks pretty good. The shell, I know it comes out a little bit forward this way. That's how shum shells are. So, right there. And do the same thing over and over again for this guy. Just rotate it. And again and again, just rotate the smoke, do the same thing. And, um, and that's how you make uh, muzzle flashes with uh, Adobe After Effects and Action Essentials 2. I'll make one if you don't have one and you just have iMovie. And again, I don't have a Windows, so you Windows Movie Maker guys, sorry. But anyway... Thanks for watching another tutorial uh, from JC Super Rocker. Uh, another one coming soon. And that's what you do. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. Let's make the bullet fly now. Okay. Here's the tricky part. 
I'll leave yet. My bad. Okay, so you're gonna go layer, new, solid, right there. And you wanna make this kinda this color, especially with the bullet. Okay, you wanna hide that, and you're gonna click this little eyeball there. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in right about here, and you're gonna create um, a rectangle with your rectangle tool right there. Boom, there you see it. Now let's move it so you can add detail to it. So, what did I just do? There we go. There it is. Okay, first thing, rotate it. So it looks like, so you want it to fall in line with this bullet coming out. You want to align it right, right where the muzzle flash ends right there. You want to key it in to just the frame. And from there, you're going to go, sorry, you're going to go here, transform, position, click on that, two frames. So it's two frames. Then you're going to drag it out of the composition and then key it up. There you go. This is now when you add motion blur, it's gonna look like it's just flying out. Okay, I enable motion blur, and this is what it looks like. Boom here. Big motion blur. Just two frames, and it's gone. We're gonna do that for every single shot. Again, shot one there. This one here, and you're gonna adjust it here to where the shot was actually fired. You don't want bullets will usually travel different directions every single shot. You know, just just a little bit, not too much. Good shell ejection right there. Now, next one, last one. Heat in, boom, big motion blur. In a shotgun, you don't want to really do it on a shotgun, it's more visible on a rifle. Um, because it just is, a shotgun just comes out rapidly fast, you don't really see it. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now, of course, you won't see it because the eye is not going to see that. The eye just doesn't pick that up. And it just zooms out. And it really looks like an actual shot. So, come on. Huh. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not necessary. Okay, that's not necessary. Right here, boom. Now let's watch it from the first composition view. I have to say that look doesn't that look doesn't look too bad. Okay, so now since we're done and we repeated the process over and over again, here's what the video looks like when it's all done. Got some smoke. Obviously, it's not a real reload, but it's not that bad. See right there, added all the fundamentals. Yeah, so that's it. And thank you for watching a tutorial from JC Super Rocker uh, how to make realistic muzzle flashes with Adobe After Effects. Uh, see you later.